Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video we will be wrapping up our Medeco series with the newest addition to the Medeco product line and it's the Medeco M4. So let's see uh, what's new in this model. But before we begin, I would like to thank again of Mr. Septclues from uh, Lockpicking United Discord who was kind enough to lend me. Uh, this one because it's kind of rare it's not really easy to get so thank you so let's jump right into it so this is our key uh, and right off the bat we can see our new element or elements on the key and uh, this is a sidebar beating these cuts are for side pins and this little thing actually it's a interactive element you can see it protrudes out and it can uh, be pushed out. I think Medeco calls it the shuttle pin, but essentially it's just an interactive element and it basically interacts with the fourth uh, side pin. Uh, apart from that, we have six cuts for the main pins. Of course, they are angled like is normal in Medeco locks. This is our housing, so there's nothing too exciting going on there except for the M4 logo, of course. Uh, wrapped and there's the sidebar slot on the right side. Okay, so let's see what does the plug look like. So the keyway is pretty open, it's actually very similar to the M3. You can see that uh, it's really open. And we have some countermilling here in all chambers except for three so you can see that those threads in chambers sound real protection in the front and that's about it uh, on the side we of course have our sidebar slot but what's new that on the bottom we have four slots for side pins so I will show you their action in a moment uh, let's take a look at the drivers now, the drivers are very, very dependent on the locksmith, as I understand it, and this particular medical only has one barrel pin that would interact with the countermilling, so that's a bit of a letdown, but these standards uh, put up a good fight anyway, and apart from these four standards and the barrel, there's a mushroom in position 6. So, only one barrel, but yeah, it was still really difficult for me. And for the key pins, we have our traditional uh, chiseled key pins. Uh, I think these are pretty much the same like the M3s. So, we have our tip in the fore or aft position. We have our true gate on the side of the key pin. And some of these also have fold gates on their sides as well. So that's the pins and let me show you these new side pins. So they are really tiny and okay. they have a true gate on the bottom, towards the bottom as you can see. And right above it there is also a little false gate, but I don't think it does anything, to be completely honest. So this is the design, and there are side pins, so the sidebar has to be redesigned as well, and it really is. So apart from our classic uh, prongs that stick out of the sidebar, there are six of them for each key pin. We also have these, I think... They are called fences, like this piece of metal right here. Okay, so this is what interacts with the side pin. So this sidebar actually has two functions. It wants to sink into the key pins, and it also wants to sink into the side pins. So the side pins are located on the right side of the keyway. Uh, one of them, as I mentioned, is pushed up by this interactive pin or shuttle pin, but in terms of sticking it really doesn't matter, it's basically the same, we just lift it. Uh, I will 
just show you what does it look like. Okay, so I can just do this up. The orientation is like this. Probably better if I did it all by hand. <laughs> I actually might do that. Let me just place this here so you have a rough idea about the yeah, function. Okay, so as I insert this key, you can see that this side pin located here on the right side of the slot for the sidebar is moving up and down, right? And as the key is completely inserted, the side pin reveals a true gate located on the top of it, so it's right here, okay, there's like empty space in here, and that's the place where the sidebar can sink in. Okay, so basically that's, that's everything, that's everything I wanted to show you. Uh, and in terms of picking, you know, I'm not gonna repeat myself because Everything I said about the biaxial and the M3 goes here as well, so you have to rotate and lift the main pins. What can be tricky is when the sidebar mixes uh, the binding order with the main stack or with the rotation. So we sometimes have to jump in, we have to check the sidebar if it's not binding uh, in the middle of the pick. But if you do everything properly, I think that uh, the sidebar should be able to isolate completely from the main stack, from the rotation and lifting to shear line as well. I was struggling with this peak, as you will see. Uh, I'm having a hard time interpreting some of the feedback, to be honest. But I managed to do it after all, so if I could do it, I'm pretty sure anyone can. Because, yeah, I really suck at medicals. I was using this Moki peak, only this one. I think it's a bit pointy and you can actually push and pull the key pins. And for the side pins I use this Pooks Elf like, which turned out to be just the right thing to fit in there. So yeah, uh, I think there are pretty good videos on the M4 uh, from Artichoke for example, or someone else I can remember now. But uh, I think this is a pretty challenging lock for someone who is not very good at medicals. I think if there were like six barrels, it would be like black like belt for sure. But uh, since the spinning looks like this, and I don't think it's even possible to get a factory medical M4 with six barrels, I think it falls somewhere into the red belt category. That's at least my opinion. And also because these side pins are kind of trivial, you just leave them, you don't have to do any finesse with them. Alright, that being said, I think it's time to move on and get this lock picked. Alright, here we go with this medical M4. <coughs> uh, let's give these... Let's give this key pins a nice scramble. So, they are pretty random. And this time I'll be going clockwise, so that means I'm looking for binding driver pins. So I'm just lifting these pins as normal. Okay, I'll just click out of five. I will click out of six. I dropped five, I think. Yes, now he's back. Okay. Because of three, be careful one. Dropped one. Okay, click there. One feels floppy, two as well, three as well, 
four is pretty. Okay, so let me try again. Four is pretty high up. I don't know if it's good. <laughs> Okay, checking the rotations of the pins, I think everything feels springy as in up to the shear line, so, so I feel like I should start checking the rotations. So one, keeping one is definitely pretty sloppy or floppy. So it should be rotated correctly. Keeping two as well. Three as well. Four. Everything feels actually pretty all right. Maybe six. I cannot tell. Let me just try the sidebar if it's not binding by any chance. Although I highly doubt it. Yes, sir. It's not. So, okay. The one should be definitely rotated correctly. Two, three, four, five is somewhere here. Okay, a clip out of five. Six feels like it's misrotated now. Trying to free him up from the Sidebar, okay, I think I rotated him. One dropped. One is up again. The correct rotation. Two as well. Three. Should be good. There's four. One. Two, three, there's four, five is here, six as well. Let's try the sidebar one more time. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think anything is binding just yet. Alright, so the tragedy continues as I struggle to identify what's holding me up. Okay. Four is kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Everything feels good, I don't know. Okay, click out of four now. Maybe. Okay, now we're talking. There was a nice correlation as I played with four and one. So let's try the side pins once again. Okay, click out of three, I think. That's it. Okay, it's pretty. <laughs> it's actually pretty disappointing. <laughs> but yeah, we're go. We get. We're getting somewhere.
I will just say that we are getting somewhere. Okay, let's see if... Now I feel that one is not rotated properly. I'll try to... Force the rotation like this. Okay. Now it feels pretty good. Okay, what about now? What about now? Because I definitely fixed rotation of one. Okay, click on side pin three, I think. Okay, click on one. And that's all she wrote for now. Fuck! Still not done, apparently. <laughs> You know, actually, I feel like this fucking keeping is still not rotated properly. Okay. Yeah. It's just chilling there. Let me let me check uh, pin five because that's like the barrel, and sometimes get stuck in the milling, but I don't think it's the case now. Okay, I will leave him alone because I can definitely fuck it up now if I'm not careful. Actually I'm amazed by how stubborn this keeping one is because Of course I could be wrong, but I think that this is exactly what's holding me up. The rotation of this guy. Because everything else feels exactly as it should. Another side where it's biting pretty hard into the into the key pins. So I really need to release a considerable amount of tension but well I think I managed to rotate number one. Okay there's four A bit mixed feelings about five. Let's try the sidebar again. Because why not? Okay, maybe click on four, click on three, click on one. Come on! Yeah, there we go! Ray. So, a real fight. A real fight, I'm not gonna lie. See, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not your medical expert, and it's difficult, it's too difficult for me to interpret the, the feedback, right? So sorry for taking so long. Uh, okay, so now carefully, I will just adjust the angle a bit. Switch to autofocus mode. And. Let's try to get this thing. We have everything out. I will find uh, those two grab screws. They are not far later. And I think it's time to wrap up this long video uh, because it's 
took a long time to get this in pig as well. So there's the internals, side pin, sidebar and the pins, plug, a housing and the miscellaneous parts. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this series with uh, Medicolox. Uh, that's all from me for today. Uh, we will see each other real soon, I hope. And until then, have a good one. Bye.